The Galapagos Island shows you what is necessary if you're going to argue for natural selection as the, the great engine of all evolution on the history of life on Earth. On the 13 islands, there are some species of finches. Each finch on each island has a different beak size, and that beak size is adapted to eating different types of food. Some of them eat big seeds, others eat little seeds. This is a bit simplistic, so you've got a series of finches, all have different beak sizes, adapted for different foodstuffs on the different islands of Galapagos. Um, and you also have a gradation of forms as well. So you have two things you need to explain phenomena in terms of Darwinism. You've got clearly adaptive forms, the beaks on the different islands are adapted to different foodstuffs, and you've got what is a gradation of beak forms as well. So you can imagine, theoretically anyway, that uh, the different beaks evolve gradually bit by bit from some ancestral uh, finch. Uh, uh, over the last million or so years. The problem is that it shows you what you need <laughs> to apply uh, Darwinian ideas to macroevolution. You first of all got to show the forms were adaptive and it may well be that you've got to show that they were adaptive in ancestral forms uh, in the distant past. Generally speaking it's extremely difficult to show that a lot of the deep patterns in nature are adaptive. And on top of that, it's very difficult to imagine you know, sequences getting to these forms as well. If they're not adaptive, how are you going to explain them in terms of an adaptive sequence getting there? <laughs> so what the Galapagos finches tell you is that Darwinism is okay on a small scale if you have an adaptation and you can get there in small adaptive steps. But what it, what it means is to extend microevolutionary phenomena to the macro scale, you've got to show that the, the novelties you're trying to account for are really adaptive, and in many cases that's extremely difficult to do. And you've also, and, and if that's the case, then it's almost impossible, I mean it's, it's, it's logically, definitionally impossible to look for adaptive sequences to get there. So, the, so that it's, it's a two-edged sword, Galapagos.